I don't know if anybody can hear me, we're going to go out and take a ride.
Hopefully we're still recording. Figured I'd just do a little walk around to the bike. So. This is a 2022 R7, 60th anniversary edition. You guys all know that. There is the Yoshimura Airbox. I have not done a flash on the uh, ECU yet. I'm gonna get that done. This is the Akrapovich full titanium race system with the cat eliminator. So. Yeah. Stock shock in there. I'm probably gonna replace that with an Olin's. I might buy uh, an Olin's set with a remote reservoir found one for like 900 bucks guy used it for like half a race season or something it's got maybe six hours on it so yep and then uh, the GPR steering stabilizer I took the front wing off that he had on it the carbon wing I might put it back on I don't know it's more aesthetics than anything but there we go the airbox, I can't say definite that it makes a difference. It feels to pull a little longer through the RPM range. I know these things normally drop off a little, about eight and a half or so, and it seems to pull beyond that a little bit more now. Hope, we'll have to see what it does with the ECU flash, because that's really what's gonna be the telltale sign. Once, once they remap the fuel and everything and get it going, that'll be really the telltale, so. All right, and uh, of course I was just mounting the, with a suction cup, mounting the GoPro right here. Because I don't have anywhere else to mount it right now. But, all right, I'll be back when I get back on the bike and head home.
if my hair's all crazy or what, but there we go. We took a spin. I, I tried to get the front wheel to roll up there on the way back, but I was in second gear and I couldn't get to the, I, it didn't have the power to roll it up in second gear without popping the clutch. I figured if I, if I just dumped the throttle and cracked it, I might get the front end to come up. I can do it in first gear, it won't do it in second might after the reflash we'll see but probably not these these gear these motorcycles are known for being torquey but they're not really uh the way this one's designed it's not a wheelie monster the way the mt07 is uh, the, the the geometry on this doesn't uh, doesn't make it just want to stand up on the rear wheel which is good because it makes it want to dive into corners and it kind of pivots on the front end so all right It's a little bit of a shakedown. It needs more of a shakedown. I need to get the flash done and then we'll see where it goes from there. So, okay everybody. Um, maybe I'll come back and make a comment. Maybe I won't, we'll see. I gotta put the bike away right now. Okay, well, at the end of the day, most of that footage was uh, too shaky to use. So I put in a few clips that weren't just bouncing all over the place and uh, giving you motion sickness from camera shake. Using that uh, suction cup mount, not a way to go. I just need to get a mount so I can mount it on the chin of my helmet. So that way you're just kind of getting the rider's perspective. Um, and yeah, so I'm just, I'm using a GoPro Hero 5 black. Um, so maybe the newer ones have less shake, but I could just tell when I was riding the, the um, the mount itself was just shaking. I could see the camera just popping all over the place. So I hope you enjoyed what you got there. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll do a better one next time after I buy some proper mounts. Later. Bye.